next thing we're going to do is work on sealing the bungs. What we need to do is flip the barrels over again, again taking care to maintain the alignment that you chose to begin with. This step is slightly different depending on which barrel type you're using, and I'm going to go over two types. This one first. At this point, I need to consider where I'm going to put a spigot. And here, on this system, we're going to have a spigot coming off of this end. One of the bungs is going to be capped completely, never to be opened again. The other, we're going to tee into and connect all of our plumbing through. Because I'm coming off this end with a spigot, I want to have that T inside closest to this end. For this particular cap piece, there's a screw-in knockout, and if it's too tight to do by hand, you can use just a hand plier to help you out. Now I'm going to use some thread seal tape. And this is included in your Blue Barrel Do-It-Yourself kit. I'm going to use the tape to help seal the gaps in the threads, and I need to look at where the threads are and follow their direction. If I hold the piece in my left hand and the tape in my right hand, I'm going to tape away from me. And that way, when I screw the cap in, the tape won't unravel. I do five or six revolutions, and that creates a nice little spongy layer to help seal the gaps in the threads. And I'll note too, there's a rubber o-ring or gasket in your cap, and make sure that's in place because that provides even a little bit of extra protection from leaks. Now I'm going to start by hand to make sure I don't cross thread. And then I'm going to use my bung wrench, which can be included in your Blue Barrel Do-It-Yourself kit, to get a very nice tight seal. All right. Now the other cap is just a cap with no knockout. I'm going to do the same thing with the, the pipe thread tape, also known as Teflon tape. Nice and tight. Good. So it's more than likely that you're working with this type of barrel. And we have something a little bit different going on with the bung openings. I want you to take a close look because when we zoom in here, we've got two different threads on the different bungs. We have one bung with a coarse thread, and that's called a buttress thread. And the second one has a different thread. It's a fine thread called NPS which means I cannot interchange the caps. Now it's also likely that you have caps that are configured a little bit differently. One of them has a three-quarter inch knockout with threads that we can tee into, and the other has a small depression but no threads. So we're going to use this one as our barrel cap. The other one we're going to tee into. So because we're putting a spigot on this end of the system, I'm going to make sure that the threaded piece is on this end. For this type of cap, we're going to need a drill to make the knockout. I'm going to use a 7 8 inch drill bit, and you can include one in your Blue Barrel kit if you don't already have one. So I'm going to use the barrel itself to hold the cap for me, and I'm just going to temporarily insert a little plastic bag to catch any plastic trailings that I may create. I'm going to tighten it a little bit just so that the cap doesn't spin on me as I start to drill. This is a spade bit, and I'm going to place it very carefully in the center because I don't want to strip my threads. And when I'm ready, I'm going to apply even pressure and drill a hole in that cap. Mm -hmm. 
Once you've drilled out the caps, the rest of the process of installing your blue barrel system is the same, no matter which kind of barrel you're using.